lot. A uh, lot, lot of defensive calls, a lot of things, but just the day-to-day -day schedule, the, uh, the recruiting aspect of it is different. You know, I've been on the other end of it. So, you know, so I have a, a great understanding of it, but, you know, just the day-to-day -day activity, what you got to do and building relationships in the recruiting process and then maintaining the relationships you have, uh, you know, at Clemson. So, you know, it's been a whirlwind. I get my family up here, get them situated. I have two little boys, so get them in school, get my wife plugged in and all that. So, Is it, uh, I mean, when you, when you take this job, do you approach it like, I've had other jobs before, I know how I know how to begin jobs, or is it kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm joining a national championship staff, and you know, I've got to fit in as best I can and make things happen. Yeah, I think right the transition away. coming in as an analyst, you know, I was so involved into the game plan last year, and I've been doing this now for you know, 20 years. Yeah. So the, the football part, I was really comfortable with uh, in coming in and trying to add on to what they were already doing uh, staff-wise and try to, you know, try to bring my own flavor to it. But, uh, you know, it is a great staff. And a lot of these guys, you know, have been coming through my school for years. So, you know, I've had relationships with those guys for a long time. But, uh, you know, I, I've always been ex – I'm excited to be able to, to learn from those guys and then, and then add a little bit. Uh, of my own flavor to it. I was going to say, as an analyst, you probably got to know these guys pretty well anyway, so you taking a different role in the program probably wasn't that much of a... Yeah, that was, an easy, that was an easy step, and, you know, I think Coach Sweeney, you know, I think he did it, did it the right way, you know, uh, in bringing me up that way, so it was good. I, I am sad, you know, that they have that new rule in now for the high school coaches. You, know, you can't come in as an analyst. You, know, you got to jump right in as an as an assistant coach, which is which is hard. To, you know, it's hard to justify that as a you know as a, in a big time program like Clemson. So, very thankful for the opportunity that, that Coach Swain's given me. Coach Venables was talking before over there about coaching the coaches, and sometimes you've got to do that. And he's had to do that a little bit, I guess, with you and Todd. Just getting you guys up to speed about what. Well, there's no question. I mean, Coach Bills is he's an unbelievable coach and, and even a better person. And uh, he's been, uh, you know, we have to learn his language and his terminology and, and the way he calls things. You know, a lot of people play cover three, yeah. but there's, there's you know, four or five different ways you can run it. You know, we got to get on that same page in, in different ways that you call it, and uh, all the blitzes are different. So he's had to he's had to bring Todd and I up to speed with how he wants that, and, and you know, so he's got one on the on the front end, one on the back end. So and then of course he's right in the middle, and and you know how intense he is. So he's he's really been he's really been a great he's really been a great leader uh, for, for Todd. And I. How have uh, how have the guys adjusted? To you back there now, the safety's adjusting to you back. Yeah, I think they're I think they're adjusting well. Um, you know, they've uh, they had a they had a great summer. They're doing good academically, and um, they had a great spring. You know, and um, whatever I've asked them to do, they've done. So I've been I've been really pleased with their effort. I've been pleased with their attitude. Uh, so, so it's been, I think it's pretty good so far. What about the roster you got the safety, you got the players you got to work with this year, you got Van coming back, you got Tanner coming back, and behind them you got a couple unknowns like Isaiah Simmons. Right. What do you see there with the, with the talent you got? Well, I think we're, I think we're very talented. Uh, first off, Van brings experience to the uh, to the safety position. And he'll he'll go and play he'll go and play to the field this year, you know, where he was playing in the boundary last year. Um, you know, that could always change, but that's how we did it in the spring and he, he did very good. I think that's a better fit for him over there. Uh, he's got good speed, good quickness, but he's got a good knowledge of the game and can be a quarterback on the field for us. He's he's really smart and he knows dad was a high school coach. So he grew up in that. And having played, you know, 15 games last year and won a national championship, you know, I'm looking for him to improve and become a leader for those other guys. Uh, when you talk about Tanner Muse, I think he's he's unbelievably talented. I thought people don't have a clue of, of how good this kid really is. And you know, you go back and you watch the games last year when he gets in the game, big plays happen. I mean, from a block punt, the national championship game, you know, picks off a pass. 
think it's against Syracuse, runs it back for a touchdown. You know, kid runs a 4-3-40. I mean, he's, he's, well, he's 220-something pounds. He is super talented, super smart. I think that was, you know, the thing that he, he's really grown with is learning the defense, learning the language and, and how everything is. Um, and he's, he, he, he's had an outstanding spring and, and summer. And then Isaiah, you know, he's playing about three different positions. You know, he's playing the safety position, he's playing the nickel Sam, and he's playing some dime. So he's had to he's had to learn a lot. And the thing I like about him is, uh, you know, when you turn the lights on, that kid he he can play. You know, you watch him in practice, and, and every now and then he might struggle. You know, because he's trying to get the scheme right or trying to get the call down. But when we scrimmaged, it was like a different person came got into his uniform. I mean, he just made play after play after play. He's a big, big time hitter, physical, made plays on the ball. He's long, he's fast. He ran a 4 3 1 the other day uh, when we timed him. Uh, unbelievable talent. Then uh, Denzel Johnson will be battling it out over there at the field safety. And uh, he's had, he had a great spring, great summer. And he may be the quickest. His transition, his transitional change of direction uh, may be the quickest of all of them. Um, you know, it's going to be a matter of him. He, he, needs to, he needs to come out there and be confident in himself and his ability because he's got the ability to be a playmaker back there. And then uh, uh, Nolan Turner is, uh, you know, I don't think people understand how good he is. He, he comes from a great high school program, Vestavia, and then he – his footwork, uh, his footwork, and his back pedal, and his transitional movement, and his hips in particular, are, are probably the best on the team. I mean, he can really flip his hips and swivel. And of course, his dad played several years in the NFL, so he comes with that pedigree. But, uh, but I think he's he's a very talented. I need talented to grab him.